Today we're at Providence St. Vincent Medical Center in Portland, Oregon. We're here to learn about the amazing stroke care the team provides here. The team currently performs annually over 1,200 cases and is the fastest in the country to remove blood clots from the brain. They currently do it in 24 minutes compared to the national average of 60 minutes. Let's go meet the great team that is providing this great work across our organization. Good morning, Vic. How are you today? I'm doing great. Hi, Mike. How are you? Awesome. So great to be with you today and uh, to learn about all the things we're doing. Maybe to get started, tell me about the amazing record that you all have set as it relates to implanting a stent on stroke patients. We all know how important time is and love just to learn about uh, the great things and the team you've done to make this happen. I'd love to share that with you. Please have a seat. Thank you. Uh, so we're part of the Stratus Registry, which is a registry that is accumulating data on patients who are having treatment for acute ischemic stroke. The registry is very detailed and what they do is they track exactly what time did the patient come to the emergency room, what time did they get their CAT scan, how quickly were they transported up to the cath lab, and how quickly did the, the team do the procedure from putting that tube in the blood vessel in the leg to getting blood flow restored by removing that clot. And they're tracking this across 30 centers in the United States. Now remember, Mike, these are the best centers in the entire country. They're hand-picked by the, the guys who run the registry, and they picked the best centers around the country and said, we're going to track how you guys are doing, and we're going to see how the patients are doing, and we'll see how we can do better uh, month after month. And for us to be the fastest two consecutive months uh, is really a remarkable achievement, a testament to the team that we have and the process that we have in place. Can you share with us a little bit about what it all looks like? The way the device works is, uh, again, all through a tiny little incision at the top of the right leg. It's surgery, but it's minimally invasive surgery. And what we do is we snake a little plastic tube or catheter up to the blood vessel in the neck, and then we go up into the clot itself, and we're able to deploy this stent device, which is connected to a wire. And once we get to where we want to go, once we get to the place where it's obstructed, you'll see that I'm able to push this stent device out through this plastic tube and you'll see it come out Wow! and we leave it in place for a couple of minutes and let it kind of enmesh itself within the clot that's obstructing flow and then we can pull the clot out and our rates of getting the blood vessel back open again well in excess of 90 percent and 10 years ago 15 years ago you were lucky if if you could get 50 percent of the patients opened up again so remarkable advancement in just the technology itself. And this has made all the difference. And I think what we have here that's unique is a team that has substantial experience. You know, we're the highest volume stroke center in all of Oregon. And being able to do a high volume of cases with a team that has a depth of experience, not just from a prov provider perspective, the neurosurgeons and the neurointerventionalists, but also the cath lab team, you know, these guys that hand us the instruments and help transport the patients and get the patients ready for the procedure and help us during the actual procedure itself, they have an incredible amount of experience because, and with that experience, what they recognize is that time is of the essence. You know, every second matters. Uh, every minute you're losing neurons when there's lack of blood flow to the brain and they have a keen awareness of that. And so what they do is they move quickly and efficiently they're handing us these instruments. There's very little kind of confusion. It's all seamless. And that's what makes the difference. That's why we're the fastest in the country. It's all about teamwork. Absolutely. And having the great latest technology and leadership like yours. That's exciting. Now, one of the questions I had for you was, it was really neat to sit in on your neurosciences uh, conference this morning and, and hear about mm -hmm. the different cases that, that you were working through. And uh, hearing about a patient that went from Walla Walla to Spokane, then ultimately here to St. Vincent's, you know, as, as we look across Providence and the creation of institutes like in the neurosciences, uh, we think there are so many opportunities to serve more people. What would be your advice to me as it relates to how, how to continue to build off of that opportunity and knowing you already do 1,200 cases, you know, a year and talking with you and your colleagues this morning, it sounds like you'd like to do twice as many of that. How do we go about that together as Providence in your mind? I think the important thing is focusing on the patient because if you keep patient outcomes kind of at the forefront, then you're not going to go wrong. And specifically with neurovascular care, some of the cases you saw in the conference this morning, you know, an acute stroke patient who's 
unable to move one side, has lack of oxygen to the brain, is losing brain cells by the second or by the minute, you don't want to send that patient four hours uh, to a center of excellence necessarily or to a quaternary center. What you want to do is create a center of excellence in the community so that when that patient hits the door in that community hospital, they get that care immediately rather than being transported four hours later. So what I'd like your help with is making sure that we have this technology and telehealth technology to take care of stroke patients in their own community so we don't lose time transporting them from one place to the other. Right. There are certain patients that are stable for transport, you know, the ruptured aneurysm patients that we mentioned this morning. You know, it's okay to transport them to a quaternary center like ours that, has, that can take care of the most complicated patient. Right. But an acute stroke patient where time is of the essence, where we're tracking every second here in the hospital, you don't want to waste three or four hours sending them to a different center. You want to build up that expertise locally. So that's my advice to you. Oh, that's great and advice. one of the things that we can offer from Providence Brain and Spine Institute is, you know, we're a comprehensive, comprehensive stroke center, one of three in the Pacific Northwest, the only one in the entire Providence and Swedish uh, system. What we can offer, and you know, our volumes are high and our team is effective, what we can offer is we can share that expertise. We can help you build this expertise at other centers. To be one of the best in the country, to be able to share that across the Providence system, I think that's invaluable. Well, great. You know, thank you not only for being an amazing neurosurgeon, but an amazing leader, because it takes the leader to, to keep that team going. And I can see how much they enjoy working with you and how much you enjoy working with them. So it's been great. Thank you, Mike. Thanks.